Boys, keep it calm and keep it steady. We're almost home. Sir. We're all clear on this side, guys. Gonna die today, soldier. Do you hear me? So I'm gonna get to the top of that mountain and I'm calling for an emergency evac. Now I need you to stay safe and I need you to stay alive. We are going home. requesting emergency evac and immediate air support. 10.3, 3.35. of operation, gentlemen. Look, Norris, let me be frank. Better tech, better mechanics makes for better execution of our operations, which will help us to bring our sons and daughters home safely. Gentlemen. And as of right now, we're getting our asses handed to us. No matter what we do, we're always a step behind. <clears throat> and damn it, I want it to end. I want it to end now. Hunting these bastards down is a nightmare. I mean, our intel in the region's getting better, but with signal jammers blocking satellite imaging, what the hell am I going to do? With more young lives thrown away. Nothing worse than wasting the lives of our next generation. Prayer services are being held by numerous world leaders in an amazing show of solidarity. 
Memorial services are being held almost around the clock at numerous houses of worship representing all religions as the nation mourns those we lost. A lot of questions about the government's relationship with Black Sun weapons and technology. Senator Jones, your thoughts? Weapons being regulated is the only answer. How north are shoppers? Show more things you got? Yeah. yeah. Look at these beautiful ladies. Okay, look, I know I'm just a driver, but you two are killing me. But Daddy, it's my first one. Okay, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Please. What? It's just a bra. Daddy doesn't wear bras. No, Daddy doesn't wear bras, okay? <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay. All right, baby, ready? Yep. I think it's past someone's bedtime. You know, you still have to take those down. I know. It's hard. You should always be daddy's girl. Yeah. Down here right away. You heard Phil. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. All right. I love you. Love you. Would you like one better too, sir? One fine egg. We have a complimentary breakfast in the coffee bar upstairs. Milk or sugar? Or? All right. Is that it? I will do. It. Cool. And there you go. Have a good one. You too. Well, hi, Jack. Good morning, Miss Grace. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. Do you want your usual? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. How are things? Things are good. Things are busy. Yeah, it's been a good morning. Starting to slow down a little bit. You look absolutely beautiful. You say that every day. And I mean that every day. <laughs> oh. Jack, are you okay? Good morning. 
Jack. Jack? I'm trying to reach you all morning. What's going on? Mass shooting at a downtown hotel lobby. I don't think we... Like I told the other officer, I did not kill those people. I am telling you the truth, okay? What, what, what did your lie detector tell you? What did your test tell you? Please, listen to me. Look at me. I swear to God. Ch ch check your results. Check your machine. Do whatever you got to do. But please, believe me. Look, Jack. just want to get to know you for a second, okay? A lot has happened. Private Jack Simon served two tours in Iraq. Honorably discharged after your entire unit was blindsided by a group of insurgents. That must have sucked, pal. I know you got a lot going on upstairs right now. All right, so I just want to show you something. I need to ask you a few questions. Okay? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Turn it off, please. Okay. That's not me. This is totally different, Jack. I could never do that to someone. I could never. You're looking at seven counts of premeditated murder, son. Eight. Eight. Eight counts. Another woman just died in the hospital. To a minute now. Listen, guys, we all agree it's a terrible tragedy what happened this morning, but Homeland Security and the FBI both went in on this guy. I'm going to turn him over. We'll do what we can for the victims and their families, and uh, that's it. Let's wrap it up, okay? That's what's wrong with the world today. Too many goddamn agencies. None of which work together. Don't break my balls. Let's just wrap it up, Phil, please. Come on.
You okay, Jack? I'm guilty. I did it. You got me. You caught me. I'd like to see my lawyer, please. Can I get that in writing? Sure. Uh, we know you're guilty. Why'd you do it? I got a simple answer for you, Detective. John Kennedy once said the cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And the path that we will never take is to choose the path of surrender or submission. Now, sometimes innocent people must die in order for us to follow that path. Murder is never acceptable. Now, I want you to look at me. There's no such thing as murder and war, soldier. Jesus Christ! Get in here! I'll tell you how many hours I've been on the phone getting my ass chewed off because of this. Captain, you were there. Obviously, the guy was suffering from some severe form of PTSD. There was nothing that we could do. It's all a matter of perspective. You two were in the room with him. Internal Affairs is already asking too many questions. So you're both anchored to your desks until this investigation is finished. That's ridiculous, man. That's all. Get out. Bill, give me a minute. How's our boy doing? Fine. Why? Well, I know he's been cleared for duty, but keep an eye on him. Two eyes. seen that look before. Jack Simon, ever see someone change like that? Mm, change his story? Yeah. Mitch, you don't have to think that hard about it. Obviously, the guy had some serious issues. Maybe. I gotta go. You do remember what behind the desk means, right? Kill those people. That was something you did. You did this. And sometimes innocent people must die. And you're no stranger to that, right, Mitch? Truth, Detective. Tomorrow you run through the park, and I'll be by the fountain at seven. And don't be late. Mark? No. Phone number. Hey, babe. I wanted to remind you, I have post-ops all week and a double bypass this afternoon. You get Katie from school? Yeah, I can do that. Don't be late.
Sorry about the late night call. I'm not much of a sleeper. How can I help you, pal? Uh, Professor Peterson, Clarence. Jack Simon didn't kill those people. Okay. Thanks. Good talk. Listen, I'm sorry, Detective. I can't tell you more. I'm, I'm putting my... I'm putting my life at rest just even speaking to you. There is no... Just, uh, just, just... They wanted the senator dead. All the rest of them, there was just fucking collateral damage to sell the story that it was a random shooting and not an assassination. All the others that got shot, that was bullshit. Okay, who wanted that? Why? It's complicated. Oh, the shooting was both a demonstration and a warning. What's this? That's all the proof you need. Proof? This is not proof. How are you involved? Listen, time's up. You just look into a detective, and I promise all your questions will be answered. A detective. Don't come looking for me, or you're going to be risking both of our lives. You just have to trust me. Just trust me, and you'll uncover the truth. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Is this absolutely necessary? So you saw Jack Simon almost every morning for about six months? Yeah. And, and he seemed like a nice guy. You know, on the morning of the incident, was he acting any different? Other than blowing up the place? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let me rephrase. Tell me what happened. Um, he was going about his normal daily routine and... He didn't say anything unusual. And all of a sudden, it's like he switched off. Like, like nothing going on behind the eyes, like, like a different person, you know? Today is May 2nd, 
2017. And it's our first successful recording of a live dream. Jog. Oh, yeah. Felt tired. Mm. Needed to jog. Get the blood circulating. All right, not back. I need your help. Come on. Jesus Christ, you got me all sweaty, Vic. I don't need to hear about your personal issues. <laughs> if you ever make me run like that again, I'm going to shoot you in the kneecap. You can find out what's on that. I looked at it, but all the files are encrypted. Where'd you get it? What the fuck is this? No idea. What's this mean? Seven it. Oh, come on. You're still playing poker online? Yep. You never win. Still winning. Never winning. Yep, indeed I am, and I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Yeah, fucking degenerate. Let me know what you find out. It's not a degenerate sport. It's actually very smart. Fucker. It's another beautiful morning here in the Southland, but keep those umbrellas close because we've got a low-pressure system headed our way that brings with it a 70% chance of rain. Stay tuned for weather updates on the hour, but right now it's time to get back to the oldies on 97.3 KBSG. Senator Jones was shot three times center mass. It's a precise shooting film. FBI closed that case. So even if there is something bigger going on, it's not our case anymore. Now let's get back to some real police work, cases that are still open. I don't know, man. I mean, the other victim just seems so random. Well, the senator was the target. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's just not adding up. Look. The shooting, the lack of motive, the polygraph. Go ahead, take a ride. Yeah. I got that address. Mr. Peterson? Professor. My name is Detective Ross, and you've uh, met my partner. I'm sorry, but uh, you don't look familiar. <laughs> May we come in? We need to ask you a few questions.
So what is this about? The shooting downtown. We spoke about it at the park. I haven't been to the park in, in weeks. I'm, I'm good with faces. I'd certainly remember if we'd met. When you spoke with my partner, you said you believed the man who was responsible was innocent. I assure uh, both of you gentlemen, I have no idea what you're talking about. And, uh, you know, if you don't mind, I'm late for an appointment. It's okay. We'll see ourselves out. Real quick, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Last room on the right. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry about all of this. Got to be thorough when we uh, investigate something like this. It's a real tragedy what happened to those people. You know, I've been studying your research. Real powerful stuff. A little bit over my pay grade, but... You wouldn't happen to know where I could find a Dr. Chris Downey, would you? Sure. Mission Cemetery. Chris died eight months ago. Well, if you change your mind. Like I said, Detective, we never met before today. Got it. Satisfied? This ain't right. That guy was not in a wheelchair two days ago. Right? He was walking around like you and me. The guy called me over, looked me right in the eyes, standing up. Told me this whole story about all this bullshit. I hate to tell you this, Mitch, but he's been in that wheelchair for four years. It's in his file. You think I'm losing my fucking mind? Captain told you to stay behind a desk. Phil, let it go. Good morning. Thank you for calling Black Sun Weapons and Technology. Can I help you? I'm sorry, Mr. Norris is not available right now. Yeah, Morning, Oh, Mr. Norris, Clarence Peterson unsuccessfully tried to access our server this morning. The professor forgot his password? Hmm. Well, 
Um, let's see, he's having some problems. Let's see if we can help him out, okay? Okay. Yeah, I was just going to report in. There were just two detectives here asking questions. Really? What'd you tell him? I'm telling him nothing. Someone tried to access your server, Professor. Did you know that? Hey, look, don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Like I always do. Careful, honey. You don't want to spill all your clothes. Mom will know we had ice cream. I don't know. Everything happened so fast. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? What the hell could be so important that you weren't paying attention to the road? I, I was paying attention to the road. It just... There was a guy. He had a gun. <gasps> Mr. Peterson, it's not too late to tell us what you know. You hear that, asshole? Fuck your mother! Did you know there was a little girl in that car? And now she's in intensive care? We know you're involved somehow. But guess what, asshole? Due to lack of evidence, we have to let you go. Today's your lucky day. Bitch, you think I don't know you're having trouble right now? But I told you to leave Peterson alone. You had no probable cause to arrest him. I'm asking for five minutes with him, Captain. I know he's involved somehow. No, we are releasing him because we have no reason to hold him. And I am not going to bend the rules for you. Now, I gave you a warning. And things are beyond fucked up now. You left me no options here. I gotta suspend you. 
This is bullshit, Captain. You fucking bang my desk like that again, I'll fucking kill you. What the fuck do you think you are, hot dog, huh? It's a paid leave. Go home, enjoy your wife. It's a holiday. Don't make me take this to another level, okay? Don't go there. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. What? What the hell were you thinking of Rustin Peterson? I mean, what good would this be doing Angela and Katie if you're fired? Do you think I give a shit about this job right now? Here's what I know. We go see Clarence. Someone tries to kill me. Come on, you're not fucking rationally. You don't know, Phil. You weren't there. Yeah. Not a good time, Big. It's nanotechnology. Next fucking out of this world crazy fucking technology. What does that mean? I have no fucking idea. What? I, I have no idea. I don't even think the people who designed it know what it actually does. What about the drive? The technology that's advanced can only be used for military uses. Okay, that means nothing to me, Vic, if I don't know what it does. Look, I managed to download some of the code from this tech. I had to stop because it started to started to call home. Home? What do you mean? What's home? I didn't wait to find out. Look, I don't want anything to do with this. Hey, you're the only person I can trust. The only person with the skills to do this. You owe me. I don't owe you shit. Oh shit! No, I already paid you back. I already paid you back. And if I didn't, you'd be an eight by ten. I need your help, please. All right, but neither of us are going to like what I find on this. Somebody's been talking. I swear to God. I swear to God, I haven't said a word. Listen, I, you, you promised to get me out of this fucking chair if I helped you. Now I got the cops at my door. I want out. You want out? Take Mr. Pearson home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more thing. Uh, I want to avoid any potential leaks. Find out what this detective knows, okay? You and his wife. You sure? Do it.
still time to tell me the truth. The truth? Yeah. Whose truth, Kyle? You like that tea? Feed that cop breadcrumbs. You want out? You want to get out of that chair? Now you're out. You got what you wanted. Snitch. So good. That drive falls into the wrong hands. Sir. Let's find out. Go. Identity verified. Welcome, Mr. Norris. Hello. Hey. How you doing, man? Just calling to check in with you, uh... How do you think I'm doing, Phil? That son of a bitch put my baby girl in the hospital, and I need answers. Don't even think about it. I'm going to talk to Peterson. Just stay put, Mitch. Sorry. I know what I need to do. Just stay right... I'm not here to arrest you, man. I'm just... <sighs> Bitch, I know you're here. I saw your car outside. Come on, man. You don't think I killed him. He was like this when I came in. Mitch, I don't know what's going on with you. But I'll give you one hour. Then I gotta call this in. Thanks, Phil.
Welcome home, honey. I'd like to be at the hospital with Katie. I missed you. I came home to be with you. What's the matter, baby? Don't you want me? Angela, I need you to listen to me. Okay, something happened. You could not come back to this house. Mm. I need you to go back to the hospital where the security away from my call. Okay. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Angela, listen to me. I'm not fucking with you. Baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? out and ready for transport. Good work. Sir, he might have suspected I wasn't her. Of course I am, baby. I want this up on the wall. Morning, sunshine. What'd you do with my wife, you son of a bitch? Maybe something, maybe nothing. Look, familiar? Come on, Detective. Do you think you'd be here if I didn't know that you know what this is? Okay, look, let me ask you a question. You wake up one day and all of a sudden you have the power to cure all diseases, stop hunger, eliminate all racism, and end wars. But the price for this is you have to kill a child. Just one a small, innocent child. Could you? Could you kill that child to solve the world's problems and save the human race? Now, there's a twin drive with that power. And I know you tried to access our encrypted files. Go fuck yourself. Now tell me. Just tell me where it is. Come on. Tell me. You're not safe. Lies. No. You're just a murderer. There is no murder in war. I want to come over there and beat you to fucking death with my fucking fists, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm a gentleman now. There was a time when I was a killer. A motherfucking American soldier. Do you understand what I'm gonna say to you? I'm a patriot trying to protect our freedoms and safeguard our way of life. And though there are some, even those we love, that may die. Those sacrifices may have saved millions. Now, are you, are you a soldier? Are you prepared to die for your country? One more chance. Where is it? Fuck you. Starting the countdown. 
now. Now listen to me. The price of freedom is always high. But Americans, true Americans, have always paid it. But the path that we shall never choose is the path of surrender and submission to some cocksuckers, some raghead motherfuckers, some Nazis, some fucking British pricks. We ain't taking that path. You're on the wrong side, soldier. You're on the wrong side! If that drive falls to the wrong hands, our work will have been for nothing. And trust me, you stupid motherfucker, I will not let that happen. <laughs> Mr. Norris, Team One is waiting for you in Bay 7. It's time. Let's go. The war has evolved, gentlemen. Weapons are stronger, more accurate, and our soldiers are more vulnerable to the field. But, with what I'm about to show you now, sir, our soldiers will no longer have to fear death. A soldier whose experience and training can't be snuffed out with a single bullet. The ultimate weapon. Okay, how long before these units are ready for combat? Two weeks. Interesting puppet show. But you got to remember, I've got real soldiers on the ground. We need stealth. I mean, the element of surprise. You know what? We need to see the result. You need some dead bodies, and I got them. Follow me. Welcome back, Dr. Downey. Could we have some privacy, please? I'd like the subject to be relaxed. Lock engaged. Detective Walker. Chris Downey. We sort of met before through my old partner, Peterson. What do you mean, your old partner? There are things going on here that you cannot possibly understand. Welcome back, Mr. Norris. System activated. Gentlemen, welcome to Central Control for the Subconscious Weaponization Application Protocol, or SWAP, as we call her. 60 seconds to subconscious transference. Live feed on screen. Pod 3, ready to initiate swap. Pod locked, please step back. Why the tubes? The cryo tubes help take the body's core temperature down, putting the body into a nearly frozen state. It keeps the mind of the target switched off. Operation Alpha 773 Tango in progress. And this is a live operation. Uh, we wired Al Nazir when we detained him for questioning. Configuration complete. Execute when ready. Executing. Subconscious transference activated. Vapor initiated. Interfacing initiated. Subconscious transference in progress. Upload complete. Six high-ranking terrorists taking the fuck down. Zero American casualties. How do you safeguard the life of the soldier? Well, there's some, some calculated risk. I mean, if the soldier doesn't swap back quickly enough and the target dies, we could conceivably lose an American soldier. But our soldiers are so highly trained, there's been very few deaths. If they fail, of course, we terminate the dormant consciousness 
in the soldier's body. We wouldn't want these terrorists walking around in the highly capable body of American troops. No, we wouldn't. Sir, we've achieved in days, what would have taken years, and put numerous lives at risk. Norris, now I am impressed. And the world is a safer place already. Any time restrictions? No longer issue. And this has been tested. We have living proof. I sabotage your research. I'm a man of science. I do not believe in God. But I've been having dreams. Dreams of people I've never met. Places I've never been. I'm seeing his memories. Look at me. Do not get down here, soldier. soldier. Do you know me? Tell me. How is that possible? So, the only thing left to say is... Just don't fuck this up. You've already spent enough money on this. What do you think your board would prove, Morgan, that we are in business? That my friend is a piece of cake. Bravo. Good job. Good job. This wasn't supposed to be possible. The consciousness of the host is supposed to completely disappear. We spit in Mother Nature's eye and she's fighting back. It takes one hour for the bots to fully interface the subject's brain. Meaning we don't have a lot of time before your wiring is complete. Then, you're in the swap system permanently. They can do whatever they want with you. It's viewing your visual memories, tracking your locations. Once they locate the drive, you and your wife are both dead. Trust me, you don't want to end up like Jack Simon. Guard! Help me hold him down while I check his vitals, please. Detective Ross? Have you seen Mitch? I haven't heard from him. I, I, I'm scared. I woke up and I, I can't remember big chunks of time. Uh, the last thing I remember is giving blood at the hospital with Katie. I'm really worried about Mitch. It's okay, Angie. Stay where you are. We'll find Mitch. Just take care of Katie. I'll send some news over to keep Isle at the hospital and I'll call you as soon as we hear anything. He's going to use you like he used Jack Simon. What the hell is this? New era of warfare. Norris has created his own kill list, which includes high-ranking U.S. officials like Senator Jones. Senator Jones was trying to shut down the program. Son of a bitch. Shut it down. It's not that simple. There's got to be a kill switch. We're here. Lower deck five. The only way to shut down the program is by directly tapping into the mainframe on level two. It requires several biometric scans to get access. You'd be dead before you ever get to the door. I'd be dead. But you could walk right in. You're going to show me how to shut this thing down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Location triangulated.
coordinates being sent to your personal comms unit. Welcome back, Dr. Downey. Detective Ross? I did it. Mitch! I snapped her. What? I killed him. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, let's just talk about this. I'll come get you. Where are you? Mitch, just slow down, Trace buddy. Just slow down. Do what you do. Trace that call. Trace that call. Yes, sir. Hey there. All right, everyone, just no one knocks anymore. You just walk in the door. You know why I'm here? I ordered pizza about an hour ago. You don't look anything like a pizza delivery guy, so I have no idea why you were here. Why are you here? Hand over the drive. Drive? I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking drive. I mean, I can probably help you with some sort of drive, but... I'm I not going to ask you again, boy. Where's the goddamn drive? The thumb drive. Come on. If you'd have said the thumb drive, I would have known what you was talking about. If I just say drive, that can mean many different things. Thumb drive. There's no need to be pointing guns in here. That's freaking crazy. If that's what you wanted, you can have it. If you gave it to me, I don't even want it. It's yours. Take it. Just take the fucking thing. <laughs> Security breach detected on level 4. Alert. Unauthorized live weapons discharge on level 7. Come on out, where are you? I just want to drive. How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Now this building is owned by Black Sun Weapons and Technology. We come in through the main gate. There's three floors that go down. We don't know what the hell's going on in there. But I need to talk to Detective Mitch. Hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Slow. He had me working on this. It's, it's got some crazy shit on it. I, I just wanted to return it to him. What do you got to do with Walker? He's a suspect. Mitch is a suspect? Look, he, he hasn't done anything. I, I've got the evidence on this drive. It's got some assassinations and some crazy freaking weapons. He's innocent. I, I don't want anything to do with it. Give me that. I Give haven't seen it. anything. I don't want to... 
All right. Come with me. Come on. Welcome back, Dr. Downey. Access denied. It's locked. It won't let me access system shutdown. Move. No, 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 no. I'm not taking this one. Move. Warning. Server disruption. System shutdown imminent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends, colleagues. Fellow soldiers, I'd like to introduce the man of the hour, Mr. Kyle Norris, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. What a vision. Nothing quite makes me feel this good as uh, seeing a bunch of free Americans uh, at ease, enjoying themselves with no fear of um, some raghead attacking them, kidnapping them, or killing them, like they did my son, who died. Which brings me um, to a subject I'd like to share with you. If you'll, if you'll allow me a moment, i just take a brief amount of your time if you just put down your champagne glasses and your forks, and I'll be very brief. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're free because we fought for it. The SWAP program. We can't be anyone, anywhere, at any time. Warning, system unstable. System shutdown imminent. You just activated the shutdown. Good. No, not good. Without a proper system shutdown, it'll zap the entire mainframe. Which will make the system unstable, but it won't destroy it. It's over. Noise is too powerful. We're not going to get out of here alive. No, no, no. The system is too unstable. Best case scenario, you're stuck in Norris's body. Worst case, we both die. Tough choice. Warning, system unstable. Open it. Emergency systems operational. Pod 3, ready to initiate swap. Pod locked, please step back. 60 seconds to subconscious transference. Interfacing initiated. Subconscious transference initiated. Vapor initiated. Subconscious transference in progress. Swap in progress. I have a confession to make. I'm responsible for the deaths of Senator Jones and several other high-ranking government officials. This program is no good. It's no good for you, for me, for our children, for our country. This is dangerous technology in the hands of some men who purport to be patriots but are very dangerous men that should not be allowed to exist. Just think about it now. A kid never fired a gun in his life. Barely $100 to his name. Purchases an assault rifle and shoots up a school with the precision of a trained sniper, killing dozens of young children. And he does it on the eve of a crucial vote on gun control. A coincidence? Hardly. Convenient? Of course. I recommend that the swap program be terminated post haste and for good in perpetuity forever and always. Thank you. Warning. Unauthorized access detected. System locked. Warning. System shutdown initiated. Evacuate the premises.
system locked. Warning. System shut down. Initiated. Evacuate the premises. Get him out of here. I've been trying to get him. Shut me out. I don't believe you heard what I said. System get locked. Get him. Warning. Out. System shut no. down. No. Nice hit. Evacuate the premises. Mitch Walker, and I am a police officer. Do not shoot me. This isn't what it looks like. I believe you. I believe you're a fucking traitor and a disgrace to your country. Detected. Terminating threat. Let's go, man. What are you calling old man? I just saved your ass back there. Oh, yeah, here comes the cavalry. You got some real balls, Walker. Some pretty interesting friends, too. You all right? 
feel like I got run over by a bus. I'm pretty good. You never thanked me for saving your ass. Good truck. It's in police custody. He turned it in. You never asked me if I made a call. Should be on the airwaves by now. Look what I found. Tell me what the hell happened here? Maybe tomorrow. Oh.